I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the definition of a slope-intercept form. Now, it's actually one of the most useful forms to graph a line because of the information that it offers. So let's talk about the equation, and then we'll go from there. Now, the slope-intercept form is always of this particular form, y equals mx plus b. Now, it may not mean a whole lot to you if you're not sure what the letters are, but let's go into a little bit further. x and y are, of course, your x and y kinds of coordinates that you can plug in whatever you like. But here's the beauty of the rest. The m, you might already know, is the slope of the line, and the b is the y-intercept of the line. Now, when it comes to graphing a line, I always recommend that you graph in alphabetical order. What do I mean by that? Well, I recommend that you graph the b, whatever number the b is, and then you graph the m. b comes before m. So here's an illustration. Suppose you have y equals 3 halves x minus 2. So if you were to graph using the xy coordinates, what you'll see here is, like I mentioned before, you graph using the y-intercept first. So the y-intercept is negative 2. That means it touches the y-axis at negative 2. And then you graph the next point using what you know about the slope. The slope is 3 halves. Now, you might remember that slope means rise over run. That means you rise 3. That means from this point, you go up 3. But you don't graph the point yet until you finish running 2. Running 2 means you go to the right two places. So that means you go up 3, and then right 2. And then once you're done with both rise and run, then you plot the next point. And all you really need is two points for a line, but you can go up three over two to get a third point if you wish, if you want to double check your answers. But in this case, we can just graph the line as it stands, and there you have it. And as you can tell, all you need here for slope-intercept form is the y-intercept and the slope, and you'll always have a line as long as you're consistent with your steps. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the definition of slope-intercept form.